Hello, church family. My name is Stephen Helm, Director of Christian Education at Christ Our Redeemer Lutheran Church, and you're watching Devo with Stevo. Well, welcome back to the table for our second lesson in our series called Lent at Home, but Not Alone. Now, last week we talked about Jesus in the wilderness, a wilderness of sand, and we used sand as the element that we brought to the table for our scripture lesson. Today, our element is a rock. So if you have your rock, great. If not, go ahead and pause the video, search the house, maybe go outside in the yard and find yourself a, a gem, a rock, or a stone and bring it to the table for our lesson. Did you find one? Well, if not, don't worry, you can share mine. While in the wilderness, Jesus was invited to transform stone into bread. Though he resisted the temptation, he became known for feeding people, people who were hungry for food, hungry for love, people hungry for a word of encouragement, of acceptance and belonging. Get your Bible and open it up to Luke chapter 19. We're going to read verses 1 through 10. Here's the story of Zacchaeus, a man who was hungry for such acceptance forgiveness and love because Zacchaeus was leading a greedy life he was thinking more of himself and not of the needs or well-being of others that is until something happened he met Jesus and his stony heart began to transform here's the story Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through it and a man there was named Zacchaeus and he was the chief tax collector and he was very rich he was trying to see who Jesus was, but on account of the crowd, he could not, because he was too short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see Jesus, because Jesus was going to pass by that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and he saw Zacchaeus and he said, Hurry Zacchaeus, come down, for I must stay at your house today. So Zacchaeus hurried down and was happy to welcome Jesus. And all who saw it, well, they began to grumble and said, he's gone to be the guest of someone who is a sinner. Well, Zacchaeus, he stood there and he said to the Lord, look, half of my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will pay them back four times as much. And then Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house, because he too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek out and save the lost. The Son of Man, Jesus, came to seek and save the lost. Not to transform stones into bread so that he could eat, but, the, but so he could give, so he could feed, so he could save, so he could forgive, and so others would be forgiven and would know the grace of God. There's one other scripture that I want to share with you. It comes from the prophet Ezekiel. And we find it, Ezekiel 36, verses 26 and into 27, where the Lord promises us this. A new heart I will give you, and a new spirit I will put within you. I will remove from your body the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. I will put my spirit within you. I will remove from your body a heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you. This Lenten season, God is working on us. Whether we're close or whether we're separated by distance, God is never far. And God is always at work. He's always in the business of transforming, of loving, of forgiving, of taking those who are broken and putting them back together. People who are selfish and turning them into selfless. People who are forgotten, who are lost, who have gone astray, calling them home, bringing them in, and transforming their lives to look like Jesus. A life of love, a life of grace, a life of forgiveness. So my question for you today is to find the stony places, those rock-like places in your life, and how can they be transformed? 
what attitudes, what habits, what things that you're saying or doing or believing or behaving, how can God transform them from a heart of stone to a heart of flesh and blood, one of love, one of kindness, one of grace like Jesus? Talk about that for a minute. I hope this Lenten season and, th and during this time, you will find God working in your life to change you, to be more like him, and shining his light to light your path so that you may walk in his ways, to light in his word, and love God and love people. Thank you guys for being with us. We'll see you next week. And until then, peace be with you.